In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four rectangular infographic slides in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've inserted one image of the laptop and then I've added uh, four rectangular options uh, with the icon, the title and the detailed text. And when I click, it looks like the options comes out or pops out from the screen and you can add some title at the bottom. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to support my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. I had a new slide and I'm going to insert a picture of a tablet or a laptop. For that, go to insert pictures and select online pictures. Or if you are having the picture in your local PC also, you can select the option from this device all right so now i'm going to type laptop transparent and it will show you a lot of uh, images of the laptop so i'm going to choose this particular image and click on insert and here i'm just going to reduce the size and this i want to delete this let me just reduce the size so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease the size all right now i'm going to add uh, say uh, four options all right and make sure that this is align center and align middle align center and align middle all right then go to insert shapes uh, from the rectangles i'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangle draw the rounded corner rectangle it should be within the screen all right and make it uh, less curved and shape outline make it no outline i'm going to add one more by holding the control shift key so this is two and one more two i'm going to add it all right so i've got four but this is goes out of the screen area not not a problem so control g to group it and hold the shift key you can reduce the size all right and then remove the don't hold the shift key just drag this down all right and ungroup this one and make sure that the uh, distribute horizontally is applied okay so that equal spacing will be given between this one if you want you can give more space so let me just move this a bit a little bit so let me just do again align distribute horizontally okay so equal spacing is given let me just bring it somewhat down and then you can choose any color of your choice so i'm going to choose some random colors here you can see here If you want, you can just give some uh, gradient color also that looks more uh, professional, all right? So let me just choose one more color, maybe a green color, right? So this is, it's, uh, I have added these four options, then go to insert icons. I'm going to add four icons here. So randomly I'm choosing some icons. You can see here, I click insert move this side and reduce the size to maybe 2.6 all right and let me just place one by one on top of each option so this one first this is second this is third and the other is fourth okay so now the color of this one i'm going to change it to white and then you can insert some titles center align i'm going to use the font open sans reduce the size and i'm going to place this one here title make it white font and hold the control shift key just drag this and make sure that it is aligned properly and then go to insert text box you can add detail text here center align white font i'm going to use open sans not the extra bold just the open sans and reduce the font size and place it here now hold the control shift key again just drag and drop this to the options all right so once this is done you can just group them so i'm going to group one by one press ctrl g to group you can see here i'm just highlighting that first option the second option now and group it ctrl g to group it 
and then control G to group it. You can give some more sh sh shading option. It depends on your requirement. So anyway, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this slide. All right. Now I'm going to select this and hold the shift key and increase a little bit. You can see here and then give, make sure that this is somewhat outside of the screen area. You can see here, we can align it. And one more thing which we need to do is we need to make somewhat transparent for this one. So I'm going to select this one and transparency, maybe I'm going to make it 20%. Here also I'm going to make it 20%. And this also I'm going to make it 20% transparency. All right, you can see here, and again, if you want, you can just move a little bit and make sure that this is properly aligned. So go to the shape format, align, distribute horizontally. Now for this one, I'm going to transitions and I'm going to select morph. So now morph, it comes like this. So I want to make it somewhat faster. So I'm going to make duration one second. Now if I play, this is the first slide. When I click, you can see here the option comes out pops out from the screen all right so this way so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease these options